What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, white folks music! So, man, a lot of people here in the black manosphere always complain about women who go out there, booty clapping sounds, and they get with the Pookie and Ray Ray drug dealers and gangsters. And then once something happens, the dude goes to jail, he passes away. Then what happens? They're looking for another guy to come and play stepdaddy. And they feel entitled to this, especially in the African-American community when, you know, you hear such things such as sad music. My kids come first. You know, I, I, my baby is first. My man is going to be secondary or tertiary. These four kids by four different guys. And you hear it all the time, right? And even if they still get the opportunity to date a nice guy, we know that they mess it up. But what happened with Romeo Miller and Angela Simmons? Well, we know that at one point he was interested in her, right? And even the cast was trying to force him together. Master P, um, you know, he criticized Love and Hip Hop for doing that. But if you can remember, he wanted to be with her, or at least it looked like that, right? And then after that, what did we see? What did we see? She moved on and got with the drug dealer guy who ended up getting killed. Had a baby by him, although she came from a perfect family, as it looks like, mom and dad still together. She became a single mom. And guess what? She wanted Romeo to be able to be a step daddy simp. Oh, hey. She cried because he wasn't there for her to, to deal with her problems. And guess what? Romeo Miller ditched her. And now he has a child of his own. Stop the show. Listen, guys, here's what valuing yourself means. I'm not going to sit around and be a stepdaddy for a woman who already chose that somebody else should be that child's father. Let him take care of that child. I'm going to move along and find my own family to have, right? And this is what Romeo Miller says. For the birthday of a newborn daughter, he says this. Date music! It's been hard to hold us in, but it was important for us to make sure our baby girl got here safe and healthy before making any announcements to the world during a sacred journey. Psalms 127.3, behold, children are heritage from the Lord and fruit of a woman reward. Stop the show. Brother, I'm going to stop you right there. Because if you're not married, don't quote no scriptures. That's what's wrong with you Negroes today. Every time y'all want to birth a child out of wedlock, now you want to call the scriptures. Church music, was Jesus in the room when you was booting up him? Was he there? No. You ain't married, I don't think. Okay? So stop quoting scriptures with your unsanctified ass. Church music! My great granny always said, if you live long enough, you'll realize that everything for on God's time, never yours. The best Valentine's ever. Been waiting for this moment in my entire life. Although you didn't get married to her. Thank you, Drew's angster. I'm a girl dad. Let me just say this. He did make a good point here, right? If you live long enough, that everything are on God's time. Guess what wasn't on God's time? Him being a step daddy to Angela Simmons and being a backup guy, all right? I want to tell black men all, you know, you, 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 you have to have dreams too. I don't care if you're a guy in Africa. I don't care if you're a guy in Jamaica, wherever you're at in black America. You, your job is not to clean up the mess for, for women who make bad decisions than men. That's not what your purpose is. It's their purpose to take care of that issue. All right. It's their loss, not yours. Their loss. You get it? It's for them to go and change the shit. You got a baby daddy. He don't like your ass. He something happened to him. He went to prison. Deal with it. Okay. Now I'm not against you know certain programs and resources for for for, for kids and things like that. Shout out to Urban Nerds and George Macon. But guess what? There are too many beautiful black women out there in the black community that are single that want to be married. You can have your kids with them. Why do you need to have your kids with somebody else who already has kids and you sacrifice your life when they go out there in the prime of their life and deal with the Pookie and the Ray Ray? The answer is no. And Angela Simmons is getting older, crying on Instagram. Look at Romeo Miller. He's happy. And I tell guys, the longer you live, 
Okay? You just keep living your life. We see who wins in the end. All right? Your ex-girlfriends out there, many of them, as they get older and make bad decisions, trust me, okay? You're not you're going to see here in Walmart with flip-flops on. You're going to be like, you know what, guy, I, I really dodged the bullet. Like, I don't have to be with her. Yes, you don't, because she's going to be making somebody else's life very, very miserable. Most of your ex-girlfriends, now there are some that, you know, you wish you could have back. But most of them, in actuality, are going to be making some guy's life miserable. How do we know this? Because the marriage rate is below the cusp, more so than ever. All right? You got to have more for your life. I'm going to tell you why. Black women, and women in particular, they don't want to settle for less, right? It, look, look at it. I'm not, I can do bad all by myself. Ain't that what they said? But it's different when the rabbit got the gun. When black men can say, hey, listen, I'm not going to be a stepfather to your kids. I can do bad all by myself. I'll just wait around until I find the right woman as I work on myself who will give me everything what I want with no kids. They don't like that. That's what the really that's what the problem of the manosphere is right now. The real big issue in the in the manosphere, black or white, but particularly black. Black men are telling other black men to value yourself and don't date single moms if you don't have to. Okay? Get your own family. Now I'm not saying that all single moms are bad, but I'm saying for the most part, you get your own family with a woman that, that don't have no kids. That's the solution. That's why the black manosphere gets so much hate, so much vitriol. All right? That's why. That's why. Okay? So much hate, so much vitriol, so much of everything. That's why. When women say, I don't want no man that's broke, nobody says anything. If you say, I don't want a woman who's broke, you hate all women. I don't want no man who got a baby mama. While they can be having kids themselves, right? But if you say you don't want to date a single mom, you hate all women. No, we're teaching black men the same things that black women teach each other. To settle, don't settle for less. Go out there and get the best you can get. And it's, and it's different. Look at Romeo Miller. He didn't settle for less. Why should you? All right. You can get a woman that's equally as beautiful. Angela Simmons is very beautiful. So he got a woman as equally as beautiful. All right. So guys, continue to do that. And like I said, it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment in the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.